This button is mathematically rigged, it applies an easily understood principle, yet its absurd nature kept thousands of people hooked by using a simple yet effective idea. So why is this button so special? Well, at times, facts contradict logic. One well-known example is the birthday paradox or the Simpsons paradox. And despite how fascinating these are, there was not yet one that was as simplistic or frankly stupid as the button. A lot of things can subvert expectation, in fact almost everything in life does, so it wasn't long before this relatively basic idea came into the spotlight. Due to its mathematical simplicity and addiction, this didn't come from any analysis, but rather from the unexpected source of a video game. Yes, a video game. So tell me, do you like to click? Cause this game makes you do that a lot. Click that juicy red button. The Button by Lendo is a game released on 26th of May 2023 that utilizes the idea of stacked probability against you. It originates from a very simple concept. Every time you press the button you get 1 point, but every time you press the button, your odds to lose all your points increase by 1%. As an example, the second press has a chance of 1% to set you back, and the 51st press would have a 50% chance to reset. So basically, you press the button to get a point, and there is an increasing chance that the next press makes you start over. So somehow this concept kept a lot of gamers pressing that juicy button, hoping to beat the odds. So you'll find the odds are really bad. Like, like really sh So let's put this in perspective. The likelihood of the score resetting after each press before 50 is consistently lower than the probability of a coin landing on heads. Of course I got tails. So with this information, what do you think the chances are of hitting the button 100 times in a row without a reset? Would you estimate it to be as high as 1 in 1 trillion? If so, then you're really far off. In reality, the chances are 1 in 1.07 tradicillion, which is somehow equivalent to 1, followed by a whole 42 zeros. This result might have shocked some of you, though others might have expected such an absurd number. After all, if we see the maps behind it, stacking 100 probabilities is 100 stacks. So now that you know how unlikely it is to get 100, what would you expect to get up to? Probs like 99 or 98, you know? Hmm, yeah, that seems reasonable. The first time you press the button, it has a 100% chance to give you a point. The second press has a 99% chance to give you a point, and so on. We can represent this using a pi operator, basically like the sigma operator, yes I said sigma, but multiplication instead of summation. Now we have a concrete formula for the probability between 1 to 100, and a pattern becomes really evident. This approaches zero really, really fast. Alright, now that we know how the button works, please. <laughs> I feel like it would only be appropriate to program something this mathematically intriguing on everyone's favorite graphing calculator. Desmos. I'm, I'm talking about Desmos. Okay, let's do this one quickly. First, I found a random picture online of a button and dragged it into Desmos. I fiddled around with the random operator and Desmos' ability to set clickable in order to create a variable known as chance select. This constantly alternates between 1 and 100. Then, I created a new variable known as score and linked the command, increasing it by 1 each time the button is pressed. Now we have this clickable sprite that increases score by 1 and a constantly fluctuating variable between 1 and 100. Obviously, the score doesn't reset, which ruins the whole point, so we need to use the ticket Desmos has built in to run a command setting score to 0 every time chance select is less than the current score. Now this is all we really need for the fundamentals, but we could still use some UI changes. I created a massive polygon covering the background and set it to a custom dark grey. Afterwards, I used the circle inequality and set the commands inside that instead. I won't go into too in depth on how the animation works, but essentially uses oscillation patterns from sign to go up and down. I then duplicated the circle, removed its commands, and set it to a darker color. I then placed it behind the button to add extra depth. And the final step was to put this giant grey circle behind everything and the UI was complete. I then added a high score, total clicks, and total amount of resets for the player to see. Oh, I'm not used to speaking that fast. Anyways, now that i finally coded that, I can share this with some other people, and let's see who gets the highest score. Alright, so whoever out of you two gets the highest score can make me say anything they want. Alright, so what do I do? I just click it? Yeah, basically. Two, three, four. I have a higher chance of resetting each time I click, right? Yeah, that's how it works. Oh, six? Alright, I'm gonna just start butterfly clicking. Should I just start butterfly clicking? 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh. No way. 
Alright, yeah, so 15's the score to beat. Okay, so if you click this button the most times, you can make me say anything you want. Why would I want you to do that, though? Bro, bro shut up! Help me, I'm scared. Six. Alright, so you want to know the word he wants me to say? Subscribe. Yeah, that's it. Okay, bye.